If you want to test the current output that's coming out of your P320 pressure transmitter, there are two ways to do that. The first is to take off the back cover and connect a current meter to the test terminals down here at the bottom. You'll see that there is a plus and a minus. There's a little 4 to 20 milliamp label down at the bottom. This is only for testing. You will not get sufficient output if you're trying to send this signal out to a controller. You can see we're now seeing the milliamps on our current meter at 8.77 milliamps. The second way to see what the transmitter is putting out is to use the push buttons and go to menu PA. This is labeled loop current. You can see it's showing us 8.3 milliamps, which is just about the same as our current meter. If you would like to troubleshoot the current output, say for instance you are outputting 8.3 milliamps according to PA, but your remote display or your control room is showing you something different, you can actually use the P320 as a uh, to simulate a current. So to do that, you go into the menu and you scroll until you get to parameter 31, which is the loop test. You press the right arrow button, you'll enter the loop test, and you'll see we immediately shifted to outputting 12 milliamps. You also have this option of selecting 20 milliamps, 22.8 milliamps, or a user-defined value. You can also go down to 4 milliamps or 3.55 milliamps. Once you're done simulating and you want to exit the loop test, you just press the left arrow button to back out and you'll see that your milliamp value returns to normal. Press the left arrow button once to exit out of the menu and you're back to your main screen.